Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we re-diving into a question that sounds like it is straight out of a comic book. What would actually happen if you touched uranium? Before we get into the nitty gritty, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you do and miss any of our deep dives into the world of science. Trust me, you want to subscribe before you start glowing. So, you've stumbled upon a chunk of uranium. Looks like a dense, silvery white metal. Your first instinct might be to panic, thinking you'll vaporize on the spot. But the reality is a little less dramatic, at least initially. The uranium you'd most likely encounter is natural uranium, primarily made of the isotope uranium, 238. This form is only weakly radioactive. If you were to just touch it for a few seconds, the alpha particles it emits wouldn't even be able to penetrate the outer layer of your skin. So, no instant superpower, but also no instant doom. But don't get too comfortable with your new radioactive rock. The real danger isn't from a quick touch. It's from long-term exposure, and more importantly, ingestion or inhalation. If uranium dust gets inside your body, it's a completely different story. Once inside, it acts as a heavy metal poison, primarily targeting your kidneys. It can cause serious and permanent kidney damage. On top of that, its radioactivity becomes a major problem. Inside your body, those alpha particles that were harmless on the outside are now bombarding your internal cells directly. This constant low-level radiation can damage your DNA. Think of it as a tiny, persistent machine gun firing at your genetic code. Over time, this damage can lead to mutations, which significantly increase your risk of developing cancer. So while a quick touch isn't a death sentence, prolonged exposure or getting it inside you is playing a dangerous game with your long-term health. Let's also talk about enriched uranium, like the kind used in nuclear reactors or weapons. This stuff is a whole other level of dangerous. It contains a higher concentration of the more radioactive isotope. Uranium-235. The radiation levels are much higher, and you absolutely would not want to be anywhere near it without serious protective gear. A simple touch could deliver a significant radiation dose in a very short time. So, to sum it up, touching natural uranium for a moment isn't the instant catastrophe you see in movies. Your skin provides a decent shield. However, it's still a hazardous material. The real threats are its chemical toxicity to your kidneys and the long-term cancer risk from internal exposure. It's truly a case of heavy metal with atomic danger. Thanks for watching. I hope this cleared up some myths about this infamous element. If you found this interesting, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more radioactive facts and scientific explorations. Stay curious and I'll see you in the next video.